There was appalling inhuman care and nobody took action. This week, the report into the failings at the Mid Staffordshire NHS Trust will be published, asking how the system allowed this to happen. And at its heart was the failure of the trust management to listen to relatives' complaints and to the medical staff who tried to speak out. Now the trust has overhauled its complaints procedure. But is it even now fit for purpose? Our health and social care correspondent Victoria MacDonald reports. Arriving for talks with the Prime Minister and the Health Secretary today, the relatives of those who died at Mid Staffordshire Trust, seeking reassurances ahead of the inquiry report on Wednesday that changes will be made, lessons will be learned. Even before its publication, it's being described as the darkest day in the history of the NHS, a scandal that left as many as 600 patients dead. And it's a report that will tell the relatives how it was allowed to happen. At the heart of the Midstaff scandal was the Trust's complete and utter inability to deal with patient complaints. Indeed, at the very first independent inquiry into what happened here, management had to be reminded that patient complaints must be dealt with speedily and efficiently, it says here, courteously and sympathetically. And it said responses must be clear, accurate, balanced, simple, fair and easy to understand. Yet even today there are still concerns that the complaint system is not working. Lawrence Hayward and his partner Heather have spent 17 months fighting to find out exactly what happened to his mother at Stafford Hospital. She spent six hours on a trolley in A&E uh, on a large amount of oxygen, which is documented by the hospital. Um, they couldn't tell us for over a year which doctor had seen her, authorised it. Um, their paperwork... Their notes um, are incorrect, um, in some places large gaps where they haven't filled anything in. Some of this is disputed by the Trust and there have been apologies. A needle, for instance, was left on Mrs Hayward's hospital bed. But her son is left feeling he has had to battle every step of the way. At one point, even asking the health ombudsman to intervene. And he says questions still to this day remain unanswered. The run round and the emotional and mental stress we've been under and the pressures we've felt. A lot of older people, I don't think, would have bothered fighting this or fighting their, their corner. And, and that's the worry is how many of these cases have gone unreported or have just gone away. Indeed, it was the failure of the complaint system that drove Julie Bailey on to form Cure the NHS and to fight for relatives of Midstaff's victims to be heard. And still they keep coming still bewildered by how to get answers. And we don't feel that the complaints um, department is fit for purpose even now in 2013. What do you think of the problems? I mean, can you, can you list what they're doing now that they were doing then? It's exactly the same. It's denial, delay, and, um, well, we're just not getting the full pictures for, picture from the complaints. The trust is obviously vulnerable to criticism, no matter that it's nearly four years since the old management left. Julie Hendry is only too well aware of this, as the person brought in to turn around its complaint system. Yet she told us that while more needs to be done, they have come a long way. We are absolutely open and transparent. Um, you know, we always admit if we've made a mistake. You know, we're always quick to apologise if we've made a mistake. We, we encourage complainants to actually come in and meet with our clinicians so the clinicians can explain firsthand why things went wrong and what we've done to put it right. Yet there are many who say that this is not just about what happens at mid-staffs, this is about a system that is fundamentally flawed throughout the NHS, that it's too complex. One of the tragedies of what happened at Stafford was that there were plenty of opportunities for the system to hear from patients and their relatives who were raising concerns and complaints. We need a much more rigorous and consistent NHS complaints procedure and most importantly there must be much more independence within that system. So far, nobody has been held to account for what happened at Mid Staffordshire, including those at the top. Martin Yates, the Trust's chief executive, resigned and did not give evidence to the inquiry. Sir David Nicholson, now head of the NHS, but once at the local Strategic Health Authority, as was Cynthia Bauer, who went on to run the Care Quality Commission. She has since left. 
And as the relatives left Downing Street tonight, they said they wanted those there at the time to be held responsible for what happened. But equally, they want to know that in the future, patients will be listened to and that they will be protected.